Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're gonna drop that engine. All right, so I think I'm in a pretty good spot to uh, perform an engine rotation. I've got everything disconnected. The uh, intake horns removed. Um, that old rotten overflow line has been removed. Uh, got the uh, fuel line disconnected. We went ahead and removed my quick shifter module, um, sensor wiring, and the module is tied in down here. Which I'm kind of, it'll be kind of cool because once I put this thing back together, my intent is to run all the wiring through the same area. So I should be able to get a much neater looking wiring harness. <clears throat> I don't know that I'm going to rewire or re-loom everything, but I'll definitely uh, fix stuff. But uh, I've got everything I can see disconnected up here. Um, I've got the bike suspended in the air. The jack is currently free. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to angle the jack in this direction with the uh, two by four on there, right in that area. And then I'm going to loosen the rear. Come on, let me walk around for you. Loosen the rear isolator right there, just loose. And then, uh, Let's see, I'm just double checking really quick. I don't see anything else I need to get out of the way. I've been looking at this for a minute. You guys, let me know down below if you spot anything. Uh, and then I'm gonna loosen up uh, this particular isolator. Um, these are here, they're not tight. The bike is stable enough with those. They're just there. I'm probably gonna end up having to move them, uh, remove them, I should say, get them out of the way completely. Um, this is chalked and squezzed in there real good. What? And then, uh, I, <laughs> I think that's about it. Uh, so again, the idea is to, uh, I'm gonna rotate the engine down onto a block of wood, maybe actually this block of wood. And then um, once it's rotated down, I'm gonna let the jack all the way out move to the back and then completely loosen this isolator. And my hope is that I've got enough front end stability to then low, lower the rear end of the bike. Um, that, that will definitely unload uh, the rest of the, uh, the frame. So I have to kind of watch it. I don't know. I don't know exactly how much we'll see. I should be able to unload some of the weight off of those uh, straps with the jack so lifting up the engine just a little bit more than i need to just a smidge should get should unload it enough to unscrew that and then come down real gentle and then uh, i should be almost level with the front and uh i am currently in my jumpsuit and i'm going to be sweating real quick so i've got to get moving get the fan back on and uh yeah let's let's get this going uh, my intention too, as well, is to uh, pick the engine up by hand, rotate, and put it over here. Hey, that's the cleanest y'all seen that in a while, isn't it? Same here. All right, so let's uh, let's put this thing in a time lapse and uh, get to rocking and rolling. Well, I don't, I officially don't have a bike anymore. <laughs> yes. What? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Dang. I am uh, feeling my age, y'all. I'm sorry. I used to be much stronger. Uh, that was, uh, that was definitely a lift with your legs moment. Uh, you might get lucky as you're maybe pause in the video. You'll see me 
um, grunting as I'm trying to walk this thing over. Uh, I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't work out anymore. You don't say. So I'm sure you can tell by my videos, but um, that felt like, I don't know what the official weight is. I ain't even gonna look it up. I don't care. It felt like 250. It's probably not, but it felt like it. I used to be much stronger. Um, <clears throat> it's probably 150. <laughs> I'm just that out of shape. Anyways, I am uh, dog tired. I'm covered in sweat. You can probably hear my uh, voice has gone hoarse. <clears throat> So I wasn't grunting and just no yelling or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, it was um, definitely pretty heavy. I felt it. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh, because it was like I knew that as I was going, it was there was no turning back. I had to lift and I had to go. So as soon as I started, you know, initiating the lift, I was like, oh, yeah, this sucker is going to be heavy. And um, sure enough, it was. And. Here we are, guys. Um, now the not so terribly hard part of tearing down the top end. Um, at least I don't find that to be hard. Uh, the, you know, it's just removing all this stuff. Always remember this. I'll, I'll give you a piece of advice about working on engines, anything mechanical. For those of you who are not mechanically inclined or intimidated by it, you really just have to you have to think of it this way. It's just nuts and bolts. What? Y'all, I'm covered in sweat. I am I was wearing that jumpsuit. I had the fan going. Whew. It's Texas, and it's hot. It's 90-something 90, 90 degrees. And uh, it's the afternoon, so the heat's hitting the side of my house. The sun is hitting the side of my house, so this particular half of it is the hottest half. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this video right here. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna sit on the recliner, I'm gonna drink a lot of ice cold water, and I'm gonna watch a race. The Isle of Man TT's going on, maybe I can catch some clips from that. Anyways, until next time you guys, peace out, and keep it between the ditches.